score 16 points, Mead 10. Just to be so relieved when the final whistle goes, um, you know, Mead are Mead and they'll fight to the bitter end and, you know, could have, could have got a goal there near the end, I'm not sure whether uh, we got, got the group of the green when it came to the square ball and other times we didn't, but, um, you know, we're definitely delighted um, next step uh, for Leinster semi-final. Has it been a tough few weeks for you, though, given the, the strange uproar that seems to have come about as a result of your return? Uh, not really for me, no. You know, um, you know, lads left the panel for their own decisions and, uh, you know, it wouldn't be the first time they've walked away on me teams, so it's, it's uh, it, like, it hasn't really affected me. I'd be used to that over the last couple of weeks and years as well, so, you know, I think more than anything, it kind of gelled the lads together and they've really you know, knuckle down and, and you know, it was disappointing for them today because we didn't really play the way we can. So the big question for you today is, were you in the square? Uh, no, I wasn't, no. no. I think if you see on television tonight that I, when I took off I was outside the square and, you know, if these decisions happen, you know, um, probably come back to haunt me probably after last year, but, uh, you know, it, it was a, I think one uh, umpire was given that I wasn't, so, you know, it was... It's one of those things, split decision called. So, you know, we're disappointed. It's probably changed the game for us. From talking to Brian, what is the take on that sending off? Yeah, well, listen, our belief is that uh, that it was no sending off. But, you know, I, I, I can't say that I didn't see that. But I'm, I'm immensely proud of this group of Mead players. They have had a difficult few weeks, obviously. But I can tell you one thing. Uh, they have stood to a man, uh, fought tooth and nail in training this last couple of weeks. Uh, they're a super bunch of lads and they will be back later on in the summer. There's no doubt in my mind about that. OK, loads of talking points. from Huge, huge crowd Park, as well. The one in Ulster, crowded. Mayo, Galway. Like, it's fantastic. It's been right. a good enough season so far now. Good. All right then. The contenders for Man of the Match then today. Well, we, the three people we picked really were, were Kildare players. And, and the first person we picked was Emmett Bolton. Played wing back, got a score from play, but a super game. And when I talked about mobility in the middle third of the field, he was one of the guys we were talking about. Drove, drove, drove forward right through the midfield, right through. Fantastic game. Uh, Eamon, Callahan, Eamon Callahan, the wing forward, the second half. Four points from play in the second half. Yeah. Did really, really well when they wanted vital scores. He got them quite enough from the first half, but got him in the second half. And of course, it's impossible to talk about Kildare without mentioning Johnny Doyle. Where do you play him? Could you, could you Xerox him and put him <laughs> full <laughs> forward and centre back and centre uh -huh. forward? Fantastic player, got a great yeah. score and is a top, top player. And great to see him back from what we saw him last year upset in the centre of midfield. He's playing really well again. All right, so no Meesman major three. Well, Kevin Riley would have got a big yeah. shout. There's yeah. no doubt about yeah. that. Yeah. I thought he was tremendous today. But in the, in the end, we went for uh, Eamon Callaghan. By your nose, Des, I have to mm. say, because uh, the, as, said, as Tony said, tremendous efforts. But this guy, um, in the second, he had a very good first half, but in the second half, he was outstanding. <laughs> You know, his, his shooting, obviously, uh, on a day when shooting was a problem for uh, Kildare. But his, his work rate, there. his support play, uh, his energy around the place was tremendous. As I said, on a day when Emmett Bolton, I thought, was very, very good and John Doyle very, very good. So it was high-quality performances and Eamon was uh, tremendous in, in winning the man of the match. OK, well, after the match, Eamon spoke with our reporter, Joanne Cantwell. Jeff Nolan is here to present the Super Value Man of the Match Award to Eamon. Thanks very much. Hello. Thank you. Congratulations, Eamon. Thank you Do you much. feel that uh, Kildare were improving all the time? Yeah, um, you know, the first half was a bit scrappy on our behalf. You know, we seemed to, it was a bit, uh, a bit similar to the Wicklow game. You know, we had a lot of possession and kicked a lot of wides and, you know, we didn't have time disappointed. But thankfully, you know, we kind of got organised again in the second half and, you know, a bit more space and, a couple, couple of those shots went over the bar in the second half and that proved to be the difference. So we're, we're, we're delighted to come away with the win, you know, against Mead. You know, they're a great team. All right, well done to Eamon. Now a short break for us, but back very shortly with plenty back in 1898.